if your sodium gets so bad, I, and I've seen it on soil tests in the 30s for percentage, you won't even be able to get a tillage implement into the ground. So part of the reason why we want you looking at soil tests on a fairly regular basis is just so your soil never gets that bad. I'd also say this, your sodium issue is likely going to be in spots out in fields. And this is exactly the reason why you do not want to do composite tests. You don't want to do great big zones in fields. You want to do smaller grids. I suggest one acre grids, but even if you don't want to go one acre, go two and a half acres or five acres, something like that. So at least you've got more tests out there and you can identify these problem spots. I'd also say if you're starting to have issues on your farm here this fall, you notice, oh, hey, there's a bad spot. Well, why don't you test right in the heart of that very bad spot? Maybe you have a sodium issue and maybe today it's only 8% or 10% or something else. You got to get it stopped now because by the time it gets to 13, 15, 20, 25%, it's going to be complete disaster. There's going to be nothing growing there and it's going to take decades for you to fix that problem, most likely.